so hi friends i'm dheeraj and today i'm going to discuss about uh, communication system engineering which is very important subjects as far as gate examination is concerned everybody has lost in the gate examination who hasn't gone through communication system engineering you know properly beta analog communication or digital communication so i have taken one pdf you know which is uh, everybody might be familiar with this book prokis though it seems primarily difficult but once you will be going through and once you will be habituated going through this book and what are the key points you need to go through from this book uh, will help you to you know uh, achieve a good marks and uh, you would be able to you know score well in this area right so as far as gate 2018 has been already concluded and everybody might be waiting for the result and uh, responses seat right so i thought of you know because lot of things i have been going through in different social medias and quoras that uh, what are the books you need to go through and how to go through those books right so i am here today and uh, since today i will be discussing and taking up many reference what are available p in pdf form publicly i'll be taking them highlighting those points what are the important points you need to refer uh, and uh, how quickly revise these books right and what are things you need to solve from these books and i will be discussing with reference to one examination which is gate examination right a uh, graduate aptitude test of engineering where uh, from what are the question has been taken from these books i will be highlighting so that you will get some idea and you would become enthusiastic you know going through all these books so because uh, previously what are the what what are the question has been already asked you know they have been taken from these reference books so they these books are just like a bible you know but uh, a priori uh, if somebody is a tarot or a beginner he feels a lot of you know difficulty understanding these books and in no coaching center these books okay everybody tells the name of the references and but everyone asks their nose to go through and as far as my experience is concerned entire preparation goes on smoothly but during 3 hours if you haven't done your analysis yourself you will not be able to you know uh, tackle those problems because those problems demands uh, you know those uh, you know step by step calculation knowing concept is not going to help you you know uh, reach the right answer today because uh, You, you you need to know the uh, concept simultaneously simultaneously your mathematics uh, must be quite stronger you know what are the uh, you know midway steps are involved you need to understand because uh, in every uh, everywhere you may have seen everybody gives you the concept right but they don't tell you how you have to master these mathematics like in 2018 one question was there in from communication and that question first uh, uh I solved and uh, I got the answer though, but uh, it was quite cumbersome, you know. Given a Gaussian uh, function, and uh, you need to find the Fourier transform, then you need to find the noise power, right? So it was quite cumbersome. If you don't know the Fourier transform of Gaussian pulse, then you cannot uh, solve that question, right? And everybody, everybody was knowing. Given an input PSD, how to find output PSD? Because uh, but the impulse response was given in terms of gaussian function e to the power minus t square by 2 so all those points i'm going to discuss and uh, this is the book uh, which i will refer though there are so many books like uh, for communication system simon hackins bb lathis you know som series and so all those books you need to uh, you know look upon once because you have now one year and you can dedicate your one year so you can take these subjects first and finish them up until the test series starts you know so this is the book of which i will be referring you can see here the title given communication system engineering by john g prokes and masoud salehi right so this is second edition and i will be telling you the how to use the manual here this is the manual for this book communication system engineering uh, and how to understand because in the beginning i was also you know failing to understand the 
and i have been talking with a lot of toppers they have been suggesting me asking me where you are failing to understand let me know so that i could make you explain but uh i was unable to disclose my uh main deficiency which was mathematics right understanding the mathematics is very essential understanding these books because if you know the concept okay see if your signal system is good everything is good but your mathematics uh, your step by step calculation must be okay so this is the preface so i'm going to discuss about the introduction first and what are the contents you know you need to go through and please bring some enthusiasm inside you so that you would be uh, you know happily taking up these uh, books and will start going through and needless to wait for anyone giving you the concept just invite some concept uh, you know picking up some concept uh, outside from this means going through intensively and uh, pick number of you know concept given this book and try to understand try to be master on it right so historical reviews are there element elements of electrical communication system you know electrical communication system uh, and uh, digital communication system early work in digital communication so what are the early works you know how what was the genesis of communication channels and their characteristic mathematical models of communication in historical review historical review only uh, genesis will be given from where the communication starts the idea of communication right the mathematical model for the communication channels organizing of the book and further reading frequency domain analysis of signal system this is purely your prerequisite id you know area very before going through your communication engineering you need to uh, be well versed in uh, frequency domain analysis of signal and system because uh, whatever uh, the signal is given in time domain you need to transform in a frequency domain because you'll be talking about amplitude spectrum phase spectrum and everything hilbert transform and everything right so this is the second chapter which is very important as far as the communication engineering is concerned if you're quite you know okay in this subject in this uh, topic you would be able to cover entire uh, you know analog communication right as well as the digital communication system right the fourier fourier series which is very important mathematical tool right which is very important topic fourier series for real signal what are the real signal right you need to understand what is real signal the trigonometric uh, so if you know the number system you might be familiar with the reals because real number from uh, you know expanding from negative infinity to positive infinity so fourier series is that only the as far as the periodic signal is concerned everybody knows what is periodic signal uh, you know uh, which uh, travels from minus infinity to positive infinity right that is and periodically right and repeats after one period and uh, uh, where you will understand uh, uh, you will study trigonometric fourier series and fourier transform which is the very important tool to understand to transform from time one domain to another domain the fourier transform of real imen and odd signals right so if we talk about periodic signal we need to understand fourier series and if we talk about non periodic signal we need to understand the tra fourier transform so from uh, first of all to get the fourier transform if something is non periodic we make it periodic and then we make the you know basic uh, period tending to infinite to get a integral right because fourier series is expressed in terms of summation and fourier transform is expressed as far as the continuous time signal is concerned in terms of integration right so basic property of fourier transform in every transform there is a property you know so many properties are there namely a linear linearity is you know in linearity two kinds of properties are there right so uh, all those things are there so in this uh, lecture i am going through just the content what are the contents you need to go through and in uh, from next chapter i will be starting uh, from the first chapter what are the points you need to understand what are the lines you need to get highlighted uh, and uh, imprinted in your mind so that you could uh, you know keep them up uh, until examination right so power and energy what are the power energy type and power type sampling of the band band limited signals what are the band pass signals right and these are the 
problems which are very relevant as far as the gate examination is concerned right so many problems has already been asked from this book i will be highlighting those problem and the e num years uh, in which year those problem has been asked so in the chapter moving for the analog signal transmission and reception you need to understand you need to go through introduction to model what is modulation just a frequency translation this the basic definition given in the simon hacking as well what is the modulation just a frequency tra translation means you are translating baseband signal to the band pass signal right means translating low frequency to high frequency th that is called modulation and what is the advantage of modulation in every interview be it a bark brc or isro everywhere this question is emphasized you know to get the right answer they want uh, few points what are the advantage of modulation right well, so here the here comes in the characterization if we char characterize the modulation amplitude modulation and uh, means given a carrier signal your master signal is varied according to the means the yeah and double sided uh, suppressed carriers i will be discussing in detail right now i'm just uh, you know pointing out the topics which you need to go through conventional amplitude modulation signal single sideband vestigial sideband implementation of am modulators and demodulators and angle modulation recent television broadcasting right and mobile radio systems so till third chapter there is a analog portion right and from fourth which is very important as far as the gate examination can random process the probability and random variable random process and basic concept statistical average stationary process all these concept i will go in and the gaussian white process which is very important as far as the digital communication is concerned what is gaussian process white process white noise color noise right effect of noise uh, on analog communication so noise a devil and un uncommon you know common mode devil today everywhere you will find noise is quite uh, you know annoying uh, so once we go through analog communication there is also one common mode devil so whose effects we have to understand and we have to go through so that we could be able to you know equivalently solve the numerical portion because uh, our examination demands to you know a lot of exercise uh, uh, analytically rather than right going through about it effect of noise on a linear modulation system and all these things we will go through effect of noise on a angle modulation threshold effect these are the concept which are being asked in the interview free emphasis and de emphasis the effect of transmission losses and noise in analog communication system for the reading and sixth chapter which comes under uh, digital communication information sources and source decoding what are the advantage of source coding and what is right what is information sources so here we will st study uh, the modeling of uh, information sources uh, joint entro entropy measure of information right source coding theorems hartman codings all these things which are in the gate exam syllabus so and in the next chapter we will study all these things uh, pcm dpcm and everything right in the next chapter which is very important so these problem we have to go through properly uh, using this uh, manual with the needless to worry about the problem given this book because you will be able to understand once you will go through the chapters because you have been given already the solution manual so this will help you to understand your solution manual would help like a teacher or mentor so this is very important uh, giant uh, <laughs> the common mode devil just like noise because of noise you are getting probability of error so you have to find the probability of error right what are the errors in different modulation schemes which are digital modulation scheme right uh, psk phase shifting keying and everything so you need to understand you need to go through properly so digital transmission through band uh, band limited awgn channel active white goes in white channel we will be discussing they play a vital role in as far as the gate uh, and the communication system is concerned for gate examination so these chapters you have to understand OFDM, right? And the channel capacity and coding. Few questions are there. So nine to ten chapters you have to go through from this book, right? So this is the end of the book and uh, appendix you have to refer.
probability of error and error because few formulas are given references are given what are the basic formula prerequisite uh, you know you, you you need to keep in your mind so that you could understand the mathematics behind this book so a lot of uh, trigonometric formulas and everything so you need to un go through each and every uh, you know pages of the book if you have been given uh, you know publicly a pdf right needless to worry about uh, it it is going to take a lot of time because once your con conceptual understanding is built uh, you need less to you know take care of uh, the disturbances while solving the questions you will be able to solve any question smoothly right so that's all thank you and if you watch this video please do comment so that i will be getting some uh, you know enthusiasm further to prepare next videos and discuss about some references and i hope uh, you would enjoy it definitely because this is i found nobody has prepared till date so i started and uh, let's see what are the responses out of this video okay so thank you so much